Here's another question that I've often observed that students do struggle a bit with. But once we go through it and, we, and I explain it to them, and I show them the trick behind this type of question, then it's usually quite easy. So here we are given a sequence and we are asked to calculate the sum if all of the numbers divisible by 5 are removed. So what you do is you forget about that part for now and you just go calculate the sum of the sequence that you can see at the moment. Well this is a arithmetic sequence. Why? Because you're just adding 3 each time. So we can work out the sum of the sequence by using the arithmetic formula for sums. So here we have been given the last term. So if you want, you could use this formula as well, but you don't have to. I usually just use this formula over here. The only problem is, is we don't know how many terms there are. So what I then do is I use the arithmetic term formula, which is the following. And we know that the last term has a value of 362. The first term is 5. The number of terms we don't know. And the common difference is 3. You then take the 5 over to the left, which gives you 357 equals to n minus 1 times 3. You can then divide by 3 to get rid of this over here, which gives us 119 equals to n minus 1. And then solving for n, you end up with 120. So now we can go work out the sum because we know how many terms we have. So it's 120 terms. Term number 1 is 5. 120 terms, so it's minus 1, and then the difference is 3. Then we can go calculate all of that, and that will give us 22,020. Now, this formula would have been easier. Uh, we would have just had... Well, no, actually, we still wouldn't have known what the number of terms were. So, no, it wouldn't have been that much faster. So, the sum of all of these numbers is 22,020. We must just remember that. Now what we're going to do is take out all the numbers that are divisible by 5. So that's going to be this 5 in the beginning. Then what I'm going to quickly do is just carry on the sequence quickly. 11, 14, 17. Next would be 20. Then there would be 23, 26, 29, 32, and 35. We need to look for at least three numbers that are divisible by 5. So we have 5, 20, and 35. We're now going to take those out of the pattern. So we'll just have 5, 20, and 35. And we hope, and it's always going to work out, these numbers should form their own pattern. And they do. Notice that you have to add 15 each time. So this becomes its own little arithmetic formula. So we could simply go and calculate the sum of that. However, we don't know what the last term in our sequence would be. It's not the 362 because that's not divisible by 5. Because right now we are trying to look at the terms that are divisible by 5. So what we do is we go from the 362 and we work our way backwards in the original sequence because we know that the difference is 3. So if we minus 3 then the previous number should be 359 then 356, then 353, and then 350, which is divisible by 5. So the last term in our divisible by 5 pattern is 350. So then what we can use is use the term formula for arithmetic to work out how many terms we have in that pattern over there where the last term is 350, A is going to be 5. Remember, we're not looking at the original sequence anymore. We're just looking at this one. And the common difference is not going to be 3, like it was over here, but rather 15. Can you see we're adding 15 each time? So now we can take the 5 over to the left. That's 345 equals to n minus 1 times 15. We can then divide by 15 on the left-hand side. And that will give us 23 equals to n minus 1. And then we solve for n and we get 24 terms. So there are 24 terms that are divisible by 5. So we now know that there are 24 terms in the divisible by 5 pattern. And so we can calculate the sum of those 24 terms by using the sum formula. So it's 24 terms over 2. 2 times a, which is 5, plus the number of terms is 24 minus 1 and the common difference in that pattern is now 15 
It's not the 3 that we have in the original pattern, it's 15. So we go ahead, we type that all in on the calculator, and we end up with 4,260. So let's see if this makes sense. The total sum for everything was 22,020. The sum of the divisible by 5 is 4,260. So the main question says calculate the sum if all the numbers divisible by 5 are removed. So that answer will be 22,020 minus the numbers that are divisible by 5, which add up to 4,260. And that's going to give us a final value of 17,760.